Hey everyone, welcome to my After Effects tutorial. In this video, we're going to look around creative typography animation in After Effects. Open After Effects, go to the project panel, create a new composition, change composition name to main render. Set width amount to 1080 and height to 1080. This composition setting for Instagram post and reels. Feel free to use any settings as you like. Now set duration time to 10 seconds and click OK. Now let's start creating a beautiful looking background. To do that, right click here. New, choose solid, change solid name to BG. Make composition size and click OK. Now go to the effects and presets, type RAM. Choose gradient RAM, drag and drop on the solid layer. Change RAM shape to linear to radial RAM. Now make sure to select the RAMP effect. Bring the point to the center. Swap the colors. Now set the end color to something like mango. And change the start color to something like lightish cream yellow. Set the RAM scatter to 30. Now go to the project panel, search for the ice cream cookies image, drag and drop on the timeline and adjust the scale value to something like this. Now select both layers, hide and lock the layers. Now go to the toolbar menu, select T icon to create text, type cookies. I am using Avenir font. You can download this font on googlefont.com. Set the tracking amount to 50. Now copy the text and paste several times as shown on composition. Now unhide the layers. Okay, before the text animation, let me explain you about the interesting tool called Delete Vertex Pen Tool. It's really amazing tool which helps you to delete unnecessary mask path. For example, I am going to draw a mask path or something like this. Now go to the toolbar menu. Click and hold on your mouse to open pen tool options. Select the delete vertex pen tool. Now click anywhere to delete the mask path. or I need to add mask path, you can select the add vertex pen tool and add the mask path anywhere as you like. Now again select the pen tool. Make sure to select the text layer. Draw the mask path to something like this. Now open the text layer. Open the path options. Change the path option none to mask. Change the reverse path to on. Now change the last margin amount to somewhere like here. Create a keyframe on last margin. Go at the 10 seconds and change the last margin amount to something like this. Hit the space bar button to preview. Now let's give some bevel and emboss for the text. To do that, right click on the text layer to open layer style. Choose bevel and emboss, open the bevel option, change the softness amount to 8. Reduce the shadow opacity to 60%. Now select the text layer. Hold Ctrl or Command D to duplicate the layer. Again right click, time, choose time reverse layer. And change the mask path position to something like this. Now you can change the color to orange. As you can see now the other side of mask path is blocking the image. Now you use the delete vertex pen tool to remove the unnecessary mask path. To do that, select the delete vertex pen tool. Now just click to delete the path. You have to do the same process to the other side. To do that, Select the first text layer, hold Ctrl or Command D to duplicate 
change the text position. Select delete vertex tool and adjust a few settings. I have showed you how the delete vertex tool works in After Effects. I hope you all enjoyed my After Effects tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. See you on next tutorial. Stay tuned. Thank you.